The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Let me tell you the story. And I heard this story from the person himself who did it. He called me to share with me this story. There's someone who lives in Brooklyn who has ALS. He's had ALS for the last five years. And he's approximately 80 years old today. There's another Jewish man who lives in Bensonhurst. He's a good man. His name is Nachum Lehman. This man has been spending the last 27 years of his life helping people that have these different disabilities with technology to help aid them. He had a friend who was blind and he helped the friend be able to learn even though he was blind. And so, all for free, for 23 out of the years, the last few years he's made an organization out of it. So now he finds out about this man who has ALS. ALS means the person can't move. Over time, the person can't move. And therefore, the person can't communicate. There's this device called the eye tracking device that enables them with the eyes to be able to communicate. Usually, this eye tracking device could take, it could take an hour to, give, to, to develop one for a given patient, or it could take a few weeks and sometimes even a few months to develop the eye tracking for a specific patient. They have to learn certain things about their eyes and make the device match up perfectly with the eyes and then they can write things on the screen with this device. For this specific patient who was 80 years old, it took him two years to be able to match him because he had different issues with his eyes and finally after two years of work this man was finally able to communicate with his family. Imagine here's the person, their father, their grandfather, their husband and the man can't communicate with his family at all because he's there, his mind is clear, he's sitting there in the chair, but he can't move. And now finally, all of a sudden, this, is, this happened only six months ago, he finally made the eye tracking device after two years of work that literally synced perfectly with the man's eyes. And for the first time in over two years, this man is communicating with his family. And the way they could set up the device is it makes words on the screen, and then the computer can talk those words out. So if it says, hi, how are you? The computer could say the words, hi, how are you? Okay? Two months ago, this 80-year-old man, two months ago from now, this 80-year-old man had a granddaughter, a grandson that got married. And this 80-year-old man came up with an idea. He wants to make a speech for the grandson at one of the celebrations. On the Shabbat, because you're allowed to use this, most of the post games say you're allowed to use this on Shabbat. He was going to make a speech for the grandson. He worked on it for about a month with this Mr. Lehman, Rabbi Lehman. They worked on it for a month to be able to develop the speech. Three days before the speech, the, Mr. Lehman finds out that the man has to transfer the speech onto USB and then transfer it onto a computer and then that computer is going to kind of say the speech on Shabbat. So he gets this USB, he goes to his office, he's got a million USBs on the counter, he, on his desk, he grabs one USB and he comes to transfer this speech from the man who communicated with his eyes onto the USB. He plugs in the USB and all of a sudden he sees a file that has this man's name on it. He says, one second, why do I have a file with this man's name on it? So he clicks on the file and here's what he sees. This man, and they all forgot it, this man five years ago when he was losing his speech said a lot of words into a, into a USB, into a computer. He said the names of his wife, he said the name of all his children, he said the names of all his grandchildren, and he said some key words like, you know, Shabbat Shalom, things like that, some key words that he'll be, that one day can use. They put it on a USB, they completely forgot about it because the man hasn't been communicating, they don't have the eye tracker. This Nachum Lehman realizes that I now have this man's words on this USB. So he decides that at this speech, we're going to let this man, this 80-year-old man with ALS, have his speech that he prepared for a month, and it's going to come out on the screen, and then it's going to be spoken out in computer language. And the whole family is sitting there on Friday night, and they start hearing the speech, and they can't, you know, they're so inspired that, you know, the grandpa is, is communicating, he's been communicating for the past few months. And they start hearing the speech in like computer words, you know, like Siri talking. They're hearing the speech in the computer sound. And then all of a sudden, they hear their grandfather's voice. Mazel tov. 
to Miriam and Yosef and you Bizrat Hashem Hatzlacha and Biracha and then he starts singing a song Chaste Hashem Kilotamnu Hashem's Chesed never ends because all of this was in that USB the entire family was in hysterical tears makeup was gone by the next morning and now you say to yourself, you look at this story, here's a man with ALS. It's, no one wishes ALS on anybody. But in the story, you can see that Hashem is right there. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org.